now time for our weekend cover story. And in a huge breakthrough in fertility research, scientists in Japan believe they will be able to grow human babies in a lab within the next five years. For a woman who's um, run out of eggs, at the moment there's no other option besides using an right. egg donor. So using stem cells to create egg cells certainly may give women some hope. However, I think based on all the other you know, considerations, we're a long way away from testing the safety and the ethical considerations. You know, how far do we go? Yeah. Where do we stop? So I think there's, there's a lot more research to be done before we ever get there. Uh, Nick Coatesworth to you. Um, how do you feel? Are you, are you concerned? Are you excited? Oh, look, I, I mean, I think any scientific advance ha brings both concerns and excitement. And, and Manny's really eloquently outlined uh, mm. some of the some of the ethical concerns, the technological limitations. I mean, if, if for the on the excitement side, though, if you look uh, 10 to 20 years down the track and we're on the verge of colonising space and maybe we find out that humans can't actually gestate uh, themselves for nine months, something goes wrong in space and you can't actually have a baby in space. Good life. Good night. That is what it is, so, yep, yep. You can't handle the truth! For example, does this allow the colonisation of space? And I know I'm sort of uh, looking a long way down the track here, but there are obviously some exciting uh, aspects to this. There's some more immediate possibilities, mm. but effectively there's also technological and ethical uh, problems as well. And, and that's happening with science all the time. <laughs> it's just science, eh? <laughs> mind-blowing isn't it and I guess the big issue in the world today is science is advancing so quickly that sometimes uh, we need to make sure our regulation and ethical discussions happen sooner rather than later mm.